Graham has battled many big dogs before. No. But has he finally met his match with a haranguing husky hell-bent on attention? When Zara needed a pet to help her settle into a new home, she chose a husky puppy, Adonis. I chose to get a husky because they are really pretty, so when I had the opportunity to get one, I went for it. He's a handsome husky, all right, but Zara hadn't bargained. He'd soon grow to be 26 kilos of pure pulling power. And as he continues to grow, his complete lack of boundaries have become a huge problem. No biting. I can't have him around many people because he's, he's quite aggressive and boisterous. The jumping up and Sit biting down. and scratching gets he's too much there. and it's quite painful. Ow. The dog Zara got to help her gain independence is actually driving people away and making her more isolated. You can see the frustration in like your friend's face, like, oh, your, your dog is too much, like, can they get off me? With Zara unable to enjoy her new home in the company of friends, the pressure's on for Graham to come up with a quick and lasting fix. Now, because Siberian Huskies are famously stubborn, it means that I've got my work cut out. They're an increasingly popular pet for their looks, but they're working dogs. They pull sleds across snowy wastes, so they're strong, active and highly intelligent. If you're going to own a Husky, you've got to train it from a young age and do it properly. Zara, hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, you're welcome. So, with Adonis already on the cusp of doggy adolescence, can Graham subdue this spirited husky before it's too late? Adonis. And he's actually he's getting worse and worse, isn't he? Mm, yes, he's quite bad. Does he always do this then? To everybody. Ow, that really hurts. Wow. He's quite powerful as well with the uh, pushing. So what do you do? I normally just put him in his crate. So you're trying to discipline him? Yes. How's that go? He doesn't like being told what to do. No, no. That's typical husky, really. So why did you get him? They look really cute and just moved from home to get that um, independent knife and then I thought I need a companion. But it's hard having friends over because he's biting and scratching too much. So independent living is not working for you at the moment. It's more just mean Adonis and no friends. And it becomes crystal clear just how hard Adonis is to handle. Oi! Off. Go on. Oh, beauty. Hey. No. I think he got me there. Did he hurt um, you or...? Well, he jumps over and he actually caught me lip. Yeah, you know. Oh, he's done that with me a few times as well. He's got no idea of personal space. No. Is it? Ah, oh. no. What do people normally do when they're sat here and that happens? And I've got to try and get Adonis off them, but if Adonis is attacking them and he's attacking me, it comes across that I can't control him, so sometimes it's a bit difficult. Yeah. Stop Ooh. it. Where well, his teeth go snap there. Yeah, you do sometimes, and it's like, oh, that was a close one. That's yeah, when yeah. I... That's, that's when I end up oh. backing off a little bit because it's, it's hurting a bit too much. I don't yeah, really yeah. Not know what to do. I can see why Zara's friends don't want to come round and visit. He's out of control. I think Zara doesn't really know how serious this is yet, and I need to tell her. But once I've done that, I need to help her. Zara, this situation is quite dangerous. He's going to bite somebody, and it's probably going to be you. But if it's somebody else, it, it really is game over, um, because he could be taken away from you, and he could be put down. It's a situation I don't want to be in, mm. to be honest. So I need to fix his behaviour now. We need to yeah. nip it in the bud as soon yeah. as he starts jumping. OK. It is simple, but it takes a lot of work to get to that point. Okay, so we've got a lot to do. OK, I'm willing to put the work in. What I'm going to do is give you a new command, okay. and that's going to be off. Yeah. And if we say off, he should understand back off, get off, yeah. stop jumping. Yeah? yeah. And you'll be able to use that command wherever you are. And if he does it, we need to let him know he's a good boy and praise him. OK, that sounds good. Simple, uh, isn't it? Yeah, All hopefully. Right. <laughs> Adonis has only just turned uh, a year old, and there's a window of opportunity for training a dog like this, but the problem is I've only got one day. Now, his behaviour's quite a challenge, but he doesn't think he's doing anything wrong. He's just doing this for love and attention. But his jumping up could be seen as aggressive, 
so I need to show him how to get that affection that he wants in an acceptable way. First, Adonis needs a lesson in boundaries, with a clear message that jumping up on people is not a game and will simply not be tolerated. We're going to brush him off to the side. Right? Okay. We don't want him to fall over, but we do want him to feel just that bit off balance, because okay. dogs hate it. <laughs> right? oh, OK. Off. Off. The other side, look. Off again. <laughs> Wait for it. Good boy. Come here. You have a treat for that. Sometimes you have to repeat yourself. Yeah. yeah? Then eventually, <sighs> all right, I'll stop. Okay. When he stops, oh, good boy, have a treat. Okay. Off. Repeating the technique, Amorous Adonis soon starts to learn jumping up is out of bounds. But he will get affection and a treat when his paws stay on the floor. But can Zara get the message to sink in? There's a treat. Bring it into tiny bits as you're going. That's it. Adonis, stand here. Yeah, off. Off. That's it. So if he jumps at you, off is good. Off. Push him sideways. Off. Good boy. Good boy. Remember, that if you need to, move him sideways, yeah? OK. Wait for it, wait for it. Off. No. Off. No. Off. And look what he does. He sits for three, four, five seconds. I'd give him a treat now. Good boy. Having learned he'll get rewarded for respecting the boundary, can Adonis resist temptation to show his affection to Zara on the sofa? As soon as he starts to misbehave, we tell him okay. straight away. OK. Because why wait? Right, off. Off. Go. Stand up. Off. And then wait for it. Good boy. Probably good enough, actually. Good boy. Good. Now, that looked like a lady in control of a dog. But can Zara keep control when it really matters? Adonis's over-friendly greetings have been getting increasingly dangerous and have been stopping Zara's friends coming over. Hiya, Natasha. Come on in. So it's time to put her to the test. Right. Go on. See your thing. Off, yeah? That's it. Off. Off. Wait for it. No, no, sorry, don't, don't run away. That's it. <laughs> off. 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 Wait for it. That's OK. If he's got his feet on the ground, I'll live with that. Good. Right. Who's telling him he's good? Me. Well, go on then. Good boy. Here you go. Good boy. <laughs> Remember, you've got to reward him if he's good. OK. He was really, really bad there, and you were fighting to get control. But when you got control, <laughs> off. you didn't tell him. Off. Off. Well done. Good boy. Here you go. When Natasha came in, I think Zara went into a bit of a meltdown. Off, yeah? Off. We off. got there in the end with a bit of coaching from me, and Zara remembered what she had to do. Just five hours ago, this dog was too much for even Graham to handle. But by teaching him a clear boundary and giving him praise and affection for complying, Zara and Adonis can look forward to inviting people over. Natasha, how would you describe the difference? Oh, my God. Well, from the first time that ever came round, and then he was non-stop biting, jumping up me, now he's just... Look, I can stroke him and yeah. I'm sitting down. Oh, so boy. it is a massive improvement. Great. This was an out-of-control dog, and I was really concerned about this, this snapping at you. We've taken all of that away. Yeah. And he's beginning to calm down because, when he's naughty, you step up to the plate and you tell him off. Yeah, I feel much more confident about having friends around and he's not going to be acting the way he did before and he won't be hurting my friends or yeah. me. Brilliant. Good. That seems like a good point for me to <laughs> leave you to it, really. So, all Thank the very you. best. Well Thank done. you, Graham. Nice to meet you. Thank Thanks you. for your help. Bye bye you. now. Bye. Well, it's been a long, hard day, but we've got there, and I think Zara has just taken a huge, great step forward to being truly independent. And with a dog who's not out of control anymore, not a danger to anybody, and will be well behaved, she needs to keep up the practice. <laughs>